Hello? Hi. You ready, girl? I'm ready for you, Kendra. Okay, I like you got good light. Your skin look fresh. You look good. Thank Let's you. do it. What's your name, baby? It's Paula. Paula, where are you calling us from? I'm from California. Okay. okay, don't cut your head off, though. There we go. There we go. Okay. What part of Cali do you Sac live, honey? Sacramento. Sacramento. How old are you? 35. 35. you have any children? I do. I have two daughters. Daughters? How old are your daughters? My oldest is going to be 18 this year. Okay. And the youngest is going to be 13. 13. Both by the same man? No. So I, okay, so I went, I came on your show once before. Okay. This was like three years ago, maybe. Okay. Girl, they ate my ass up in them comments. But um, no, they're by two different men, but my ex-husband, because I was married. And at the time I came on your show, I was still married, but oh. separated. Oh, yeah. We, uh, I think three years ago, I probably would have did the interview with you, but now I have a, you got to be completely yes. divorced. So right? I'm completely divorced. Completely divorced. Oh. Thank God. Yes. So was you married? <laughs> to one of your daughter's yes, fathers? my okay. youngest daughter. She's about to be 13, so I was married to her father. Okay. Do you believe in zodiac signs? Not as much as I used to, so I really know. Okay. And what do you do for a living, Paula? Um, I do private home care. Private home care. Um, what's that? Private home Take care of elderly. Oh, oh okay. Take care of elderly. Got you. All right, so we got Paula. Um, she does private home care, calling us from Sacramento, California, 35, a mom to two, married once, her children by two different men. What kind of man you looking for, boo? A grown man. Like, when I say grown, let me tell you, my age preference for men is 40 and up, all okay. the way to 55. Okay. I do 55, okay. 40 to 55. I like a man who's grown, has older kids, possibly some grandkids, just based on the fact that when they're that age, they're kind of past the bullshit, already been there, and they're well-seasoned. Okay, and they're well-seasoned. What are your deal breakers besides being under 40, child? Um, just an honest man. He has to just be honest. God-fearing for sure, but just an honest man. I'm tired of the liars. Can't trust him nowadays. Okay. Okay, an honest man. Should he look a certain way? Um, yeah, I, I definitely, he has to look attractive. Like, he has to have nice teeth. He has to have um, nice hands, you know. I wouldn't, he has to be fit, but to a certain extent. He don't have to have, like, a six-pack, but he definitely has to be fit. Okay. Has to be fit. Um, should he make a certain amount of money? Um, no. As long as he can provide for himself, that's good enough for me. You know, as long as he has his own, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Do you want more kids? No. 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 So he should be a man that already has yep. children. Okay. Let's do the Kendra Cam. I think they've been waiting on the Kendra Cam, Paula. <laughs> okay, let me see. Tell me if you can see it good enough. Okay, let's see. look at this body, body in. Okay, we can see you. Looks like you're in good shape. <laughs> So this is Paula. All right, when was your last? Wait, I'll let you get your your camera together. When was your last relationship? So my last relationship was honestly with my kid's father, which was four years ago. I actually met a guy off your show the last time I was on here, and we dated for like six months, and it was amazing. He was like, uh, he was amazing. What happened? Okay, so when I, when I met him, he was newly divorced. He lived in Atlanta. We, I traveled, he traveled, we even linked, went out the country. It was, he was a beautiful man, but his divorce was just fresh. And I feel like he, I was kind of like a rebound and I was younger than him. He was older than me. So I felt like I was like a little young, you know, hot commodity for him. And it just ended up not working. And he just, you know, I think he just was going through a depressing stage of his life with the divorce and it just didn't work out. But we dated for like six months and it was amazing. You really liked him. I, I was like, really liked him. He was a beautiful well, man. How did it end? Well, okay, so when we dated, it was his birthday. And when I tell you, I had a gift delivered to this man's door every week up until his birthday. And I flew him to Vegas, got a hotel suite, decorated it, everything for him. Like, ran his bath water. That was right there. That's where I, he was like, I never had a woman even run my bath water. So I feel like by me doing all that, it was just overwhelming for him. I promise you, because after that, it was kind of like I became a therapist. It just didn't 
didn't work. Like he just started like the divorce still was weighing on him. But I thought I did everything right. I try to show him like I'm interested in you. Like, let me show you something different. Yeah, I'm young. Like, you know, I, I did a lot for him and just he just wasn't, I don't know, it just didn't work. Atheon Crockett is watching. Shout out to Atheon. He said you flew him out? I flew him, yes. Paid for his flight, paid for the room, got him gifts delivered to his door for a whole week, like a whole month straight. Even got him more gifts when we when I brought him to Vegas. Mm -hmm. He just, it just, I don't know. And after that, it went downhill? Went downhill. His friend, I, his friend, and this is the great part, I went to his best friend's wedding with him. I was his date and everything. I met the family, everything. But I just feel like his friend told me it was just probably overwhelming for yeah, him. Yeah. Like, I he's like, you know, it was that. And then maybe, maybe, um, okay, during this time, was he still no. married? Um, and get, he was, he was, divorced he was le yes, he was divorced. Oh. Okay. Do you guys keep in contact? We, Do you know if he's dating someone else? We did. We kept in contact for a while. Like, he'll randomly text me, just hope all is well. And then I'll randomly would text him the same. Um, but that's just, it's been like three years. I'm, it's amazing to me. It flew by so fast. It only feel like three years. But he was really like, I want to say like the last man that I really actually put my time and effort into, you know, but ever since then, like I dated men here and there, but it just, no. Let me ask you this. Was, was he on my show? No, he was, oh, you? he was in the, he was in, he was a fan of the show. And he DM'd, and he DM'd you after seeing me. He DM'd you. Yeah. Okay. I know you say you don't believe in Zodiac signs. I'm just curious. What Zodiac sign are I'm you? I'm a Gemini. A Gemini. Yeah. Okay. I was a Gemini. Um, you know, it's interesting because. I love like that too. Like I like to, I like to reciprocate. I, I, I'm just, you know, the reflection of how I am on the show. I am a giver by me nature. Too. I enjoy giving. It, it, it makes me feel good, and I feel so blessed that I can give the way I desire to give. But you have you it, the the when you're that kind of person, you want to give to a person that's gonna appreciate yes. it and deserves it. Yeah, appreciate. Hates it and deserve it. And I don't know if he, you know, I don't know if you knew him long enough for him to deserve that. That was white he, treatment. That was, he white was treatment. I just feel like, but me, the type of woman I am, like, if I'm dating you, and for me, I like to date one person. And for me, he was like the first man I really actually got with in that kind of way after my ex-husband to where like I felt like we could have gone further even just with dating each other you know it just got cut short but I just felt like he was the one that I could see myself with for a long period of time okay. you know so but the type of woman I am that's just how I am if I'm dating you I'm gonna reciprocate the energy because he was a good man like you know we we would go out the country together and do stuff together like he would provide too it's just that the type of woman I am I will go overboard and show you rather than tell you well, you know like I'm not rich but like he was deserving of it to me okay well, fellas, as you can see, she don't mind dropping a dime on her man. So. No, I don't. And it'd be the little stuff that, to me, you know, matters. Can I ask you one more thing? Because now I'm nosy. You said you had him a gift delivered to his house every day up until his birthday. Every what were some of the gifts? Every week. So, for, for instance, he posted a book on Facebook. Like, on Facebook, he posted a book like, oh, I want to read this book. I Amazon the book to his doorstep. He had, like, a bag he wore all the time with his stuff in it. And I got him the same bag, but in a different color. I got him cologne. Um, his friend's wedding that I was in the wedding with him, he, I got like a canvas made of his groomsmen. You know, all the groomsmen, just little stuff that I'm like, okay, let me just show him. That's not little. That's, if that, so that's very was thoughtful time. Like a lot of time went into that. It's very thoughtful. I wouldn't call that little at all. Well, I mean, and then on his birthday, when we were out there, um, I decorated the room for him, you know, wore the lingerie for him and got him stuff that was just like, um, like the card I got, like personalized, made for him. I don't know, for me, like, I just really was into him. Like, he was an older man. He looked so good. He had his shit together. He had a good career. You know, he had one child, which was like, okay, yes. You know, so he, he was like, he had it all. And then I don't know, I just, it just time goes by. And then he's in Atlanta, I'm in California. I can't be there. You know, when he's not feeling good or feeling away, I wasn't close enough to where I felt like that was part of why we just didn't work. You know, I'm really on the fence because I mean, again, I, I, I love to do things like that. So I really want to hear from men. And how long did you guys date for? Six months. And was, okay, now was you guys in an exclusive relationship or were you just dating? No, we literally were just dating, like... So he wasn't, so he... 
He wasn't even your boyfriend. He wasn't my man. We okay, never put a title on anything. I think we just, that was too much for I, I think we that's, just dated. I think you got it. I think for, first of all, I love that you're thoughtful and kind, but this is how sometimes it can get tricky because, um, well, did y'all ever talk about being exclusive? Yeah. So, so you were well aware he had other women. No, no. He really, he didn't have no other women. I just felt like, well, with me and him talking, like we, we talked to where like eventually like we could possibly like be together. He didn't have, he was really fresh out his divorce. I think he like dated one or two women before me, but when me and him started dating, it was more so like we were actually seeing each other, traveling together. He was coming to California. I was going to Atlanta. And it was really only me that he was seeing at the time. But the fact that I feel like he was freshly divorced from his wife, it was like not even a year, I think he was freshly divorced. The divorce was final. Like they were no longer actually uh, married. That's when like, yeah, me and him started like dating. And I was really like mainly the only girl he really actually was seeing consistently. Okay. But you just that because I was going to ask the men, um, if they could tell us in the comment section, because men always say they want women to spoil them and they want to reciprocate the energy that they give. But in this case, was it too much? But I guess we got the answer and the action because he switched up, you said, after all this. Yeah, he did. I, and like I said, I talked to his best friend and his best friend kind of told me like, it might have just been overwhelming to him because he's never kind of had certain stuff done mind you he was married for 13 years to a woman and like i said the bathwater thing he was like he's never got his bathwater ran by his wife of 13 years so certain stuff his best friend was just saying like it might have just been too overwhelming but then again too i kind of feel like i probably was kind of rebound at the end of it because we just ended up really not working but you brought me around your family your friends i went to your best friend's wedding like you know so okay so was that the last relationship you was that was the last relationship I dated, you know, here and there with guys. It just men are liars and they're not consistent enough for me. Okay. And okay, now, um, you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? I'm gonna answer. It was was it New Year's? A little bit before New Year's. So last year I started dating a woman. I've never been with a woman before. So I started dating a woman. You started dating a woman. Last you year made you I switch did. up to vagina. I just men, like I said, I, I was dating men, and men just wasn't. I don't know. I just wasn't. I just took a break from men. And at the time when I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna take a break from even dating men, talking to men, seeing men. She just ended up in the picture, and you know, satisfied me in the way I needed to be satisfied with, you know, without it being a man. So when did that end? Like a month. Oh, yeah. a month ago so now are you open to both genders oh i'm not she was the only woman i ever was with no i'm not even into women like that it was just her something about her and she got me when she got me but i know i'm definitely into men i love men so men only men only. okay yes um we got to look okay i know we're at all right so what are three flaws you think you have when it comes to a relationship mm, i'll be honest i'm not the best cook i can cook my kids are picky but i can cook you know, but not like throw down in the kitchen like a whole Thanksgiving dinner. That's one of my, my main flaws is like the cooking part. Everything else, I know I, I bring it to the table. Um, so that's when you only have one flaw? Yeah, just me. I really don't be cooking. Ooh, okay, so why, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, well, because I have my own everything. Um, I'm a very grown woman. I'm very seasoned. Um, there's nothing that when it comes to a man that I'm not willing to do for my man. You know, I'm a provider as well. I like to take care of my man as well. I reciprocate that. And I'm big on us women, you know, showing men like, you know, that we actually can take care of them too in certain ways, you know. And I'm not looking for a man financially because I have my own everything. Like I take care of myself. I take care of my kids. I just want a man to, you know, to have some affection with, to love, you know, that's what I look for. All right. And what was the age range you would date? You're 35. 40 to 55. Oh, you did tell me that. Does he have to be in Sacramento, California? No. Okay. No. Okay. He could be anywhere. Okay. You don't also care about how much money he makes? No. As long as he can take care of himself. I don't want to deal with the man all of a sudden. I come into your life and now you have all these financial problems. Like that's out for me. Just take care of yourself. You know, make sure you're secure and you got everything taken care of. That way when we do come together, you know, it'll be all, it'll be good. And do you want more kids? No. No, so, okay, mm -hmm. okay you don't want more kids. All right, let's do it. 
Paula, um, do you want to get married again? I'm open to getting married again, yeah, because I married young. I married at 23. You know, I feel like I wasn't ready, and I married for the wrong reasons. So now I feel like if, yeah, I'll, I'm, up to, I'm open to getting married again. What qualities do you think make you a wife? Um, everything besides the cooking. Everything besides the cooking, I'm a caterer, you know, um, I'm loyal. Once you get me, you have nothing to worry about. I'm all for you. Um, yeah, you know, I just, just don't, just the cooking is what will throw a man off, but I'm willing to learn. I prefer somebody who probably can cook so you could teach me better, you know? All right, let's do it. So we got Paula. She's a private home care, so that's private home care, uh, Sacramento, California, 35, moms to two daughters. Two men was married once to one of her daughter's dads. Will date forty to fifty five. Doesn't care how much money you make, but don't come broke, yeah. child. And um, she might she does not mind catering to her man. How can the guy reach out to you, Bo? Um, you can DM me or follow me on Instagram at Miss Love underscore nine one six. One more time for the people. Miss Love M S L O V E underscore nine one six. Nine one six. All right, Paula, will you keep me posted? Uh -huh. How it goes, honey. I will, Kendra. Thank you. All right, bye, bye. baby.